All right, welcome back, y'all. I'm sorry about this horrible, horrible, horrible angle and this horrible setup I got. But if y'all pay attention to my vlog, y'all know that I'm not inside the state, or I'm not inside my state. I'm on a little vacation slash business trip or whatever, so I'm inside of a hotel. I just wanted to get this video out to y'all because I love Big Brother, Cliff Hogg's voice. If y'all pay attention to my old, well, first of all, back with another Big Brother video. I'm reviewing this week's edition of Big Brother. I'm not sure the episodes. But I have to admit, now, I did not see this episode first 30 minutes. So, like, the first 30 minutes I didn't see, but I know what's been going on this week. If y'all follow me since last season, Big Brother and Celebrity Big Brother, I am not a fan of this season's Big Brother. Y'all know last year in Celebrity, like, I was a super fan. Like, I was watching the feeds, reporting on them, like, reading about it. Even though I watched the feeds myself, I would watch people review the feeds. Like, isn't that so weird? I would read about the feeds that I already watched. And I'm watching other people. Like, I, that's how big of a fan I was. And I'm still a fan of the show, but this season just sucks so bad. It's so horrible. This season is the second worst that I've seen. I would say season 19 was the absolute worst. Season 15, even though it was, like, racism really heavy and it was a lot of, like, bad stuff. Gameplay was good. It's just, I just wish it wasn't racist people, obviously. But, um, getting to this week. So, the HOH was sad. That was, that was just, that was pathetic. It was almost like a slap in the face to the show. They put together that big set and did all this stuff. And just for Holly to jump off. She's an idiot. She deserved to go home for doing that. You don't throw an HOH when it's the final four. Like, what? Did, but... Cliff and Nicole are so stupid because don't y'all realize that y'all went to the end with the two best comp competitors, com competition competitors, competitors, I don't know, inside the whole house. In my opinion, Holly and Jackson were the two best when it came to competitions. And y'all went to the end with them. If Holly didn't throw it, she would have won. Jackson would have won the veto. Like, what? Like, do y'all not realize this? That's why they wanted to go to Final Four with y'all. And who makes a Final Four deal when there's only seven people left? <laughs> like, what? Don't y'all realize that? Yeah, I mean, the final four when it was seven people left and the other the other three people were strong. That's why they did that. I don't understand. Y'all, if y'all pay attention to my last couple of reviews, y'all know I'm not a fan of Cliff's. Like, Cliff, the stuff he did this week. Let's get to it. Holly throws the competition. Nicole's HOH. So I'm happy about that because, you know, Nicole's in final three. But at this point, I'm knowing, like, Jackson's winning HOH, uh, Vito. I knew he was. But watching the show, I was surprised that Jackson kept telling uh, Holly to throw it. But it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Holly throws it. If he doesn't win that veto or if she doesn't win that veto, if Nicole's HOH and Cliff's voting, Jackson knows that Cliff would keep him. That is a big, like, he's strategic as hell. And I don't like Jackson at all. And I feel like a lot of people forget how bad of a person he was in the beginning of the season, like, Let's not forget. Like, go back. And, like, he's so concerned about his image and stuff. Like, Jackson, now I feel like he being fake. The beginning of the season was his real person, who he was. And, I mean, like, he's not, like, necessarily that good now. Why do you eat so much watermelon? Like, uh, watching this show made me eat more watermelon. I'm not going to lie because Jackson makes it seem like that one scene where he's like, it's not, not much better than a really good watermelon. And he eats the seedless ones, too. So, like, I I've been eating watermelon, like, as I'm in this hotel, they give us breakfast downstairs every morning. They always have fruit. And I just get a shit ton of watermelon because Jackson just make it seem so good. And it is good, but I'm on a rant about watermelon right now. So the veto competition. I didn't like it. It was so easy to me. Like, the questions were like... The only thing with those questions is, and I feel like maybe if I was in the house, it would be better. I don't remember the names of competitions. Like, the names. I don't pay attention to the names. Only name I know is... I know Otev and I know Hide and Go Veto because those are classics. Those are probably the most classic Veto or competitions in Big Brother. History? I think history. Anyway, by the way, y'all, I'm reviewing, I'm watching Big Brother 6 right now, and this is a really good season. Don't leave any spoilers inside the comments if anybody even watches this video. I'm probably talking to myself. Let's get to it. So, Jackson won the Veto. The reason why I didn't like it because I feel like the questions were very, very easy. The slingshot. 
I don't know how that is, but Cliff was winded. It, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was laughing watching it because he was so winded and had sweat on his back. And that would probably be me. So I don't want nobody to put inside the comments that, oh, you're old shaming him or fat shaming him or saying he's out of shape. No, because that would probably be me. I'll probably be worse. So like he had 36 minutes, I'll probably be 56. But uh, Jackson won, obviously. The big crying charade, I feel like, was just off a show. Like, he's playing it up, trying to get sympathy. I feel like CBS gives Jackson such a good edit. I don't know why. I'm so confused as to why. But who else? Alex from season 19. I heard her edit was because I went back and watched some live feed um, reviews, and Alex from season 19 was a horrible person. And I would never know that from what, well, she did some shit on the show, they showed, but they gave her a great edit. And Jackson is getting an A1 edit. Well, not an A1, but he's, well, shit. Sorry, y'all. keep cussing. Anyway, uh, so after the veto, what is it? So Cliff honestly thinks that Jackson is going to take him instead of Holly. He's an idiot. Cliff makes way too many deals and just thinks that they're like what but then a lot of times i heard him say to nicole like in during like not this week or last week or but sometimes in the season like if me and you're on the block together i'll go home and that's all right that's all right like he he is willing to take risks that will send himself home and he's just like that's all right like are you trying to be too much of a nice guy i feel like cliff plays it up to the camera too like, you never quit like I don't know. I'm just not a fan. I feel like Nicole's more authentic. And Holly, to be honest, and I hate fantasy book and Big Brother, but I think the best thing, the best thing that would make me like, oh, this season turned around is if Holly won the v, the last HOH. And she, because her and Jackson fight all the time, and she just looks so weak. Like, she, like, he'll be like, mm, no, I'm done. And she just cries and, like, goes back to him. I think that would be the best move if she won the final HOH and evicted Jackson. And then she sat up there on that seat with Nicole. And when it was her time to speak, she was like, I did what none of y'all had the guts to do. None of y'all could do it. Christy, you've been trying to get Jackson out for weeks. You were trying to get him out for weeks. We saved you and gave you the opportunity, and you still didn't do it. Jackson, Cliff, Nicole, Nick, all of you tried to take him out. Jessica, and none of y'all did it, and I did it. Like, oh, I, Holly, that would be the best move in Big Brother that I can remember seeing. If she evicted Jackson and won, that would be great. Like, the jury would just be sitting there, like, and, like, if she was a good talker and she could talk, like, if I did that, I would win. I, ooh, that sounded like I'm too my own horn. <laughs> but, like, a Vic Jackson, like, and I hate people who sit in their reviews and just fantasy book what's going, what's going to happen because this is a review. But anyway, so I missed the episode, but I know that Cliff told Jackson his biggest argument was, if you evict me, I'm not voting for you no matter who you go to the final two with, and you're probably not gonna win. Think about who's in the jury and think about who you're evicting. You're not gonna win. And Jackson, I do have a little bit of sympathy. When he was in that DR, he was like, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Because I feel for him. He said, you forced me into taking that deal because who the hell is gonna say no? Except you, Cliff, apparently. But yeah, so we got a final three of Jackson, Holly, and Nicole. And Nicole says that she looks like an idiot for being the girl that took, um... By the way, she, she took a showman to the final three. But by the way, uh, sidetrack. Sidebar, whatever. I'm watching season six right now. I think I told y'all that already. And remember at the beginning of this, uh, this review when I said, oh, it was embarrassment. That was so lame. They got rid of that. The HOH, the HOH, I don't think they even showed the timestamps on when people fell. Poor, poor Holly didn't really want to drop, him, but she shouldn't have. Like, why are you listening to Jackson? She just comes off so weak. She comes off as such a weak girl. Um, But what I'm trying to get to is I think that competition lasted five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Either way, it lasted less than 15 minutes, for sure. Less than 15 minutes. 
That's the shortest endurance competition in U.S. Big Brother since I've been watching. I watched season. I only watched season 20 live, but I've watched season four or five. I'm on six now. Ten through 20. OTT, both celebrities. This is the shortest endurance competition I can remember. I just watched season six, and they had a 13-hour endurance competition. 13 hours. I have. That's longer than my shift at work during peak. <laughs> like, what? 13 hour endurance. 13 hour. Can you imagine doing an endurance competition for 13 hours and then losing? Like, what? <laughs> that, I just wanted to bring that up. But who are y'all voting for for AFP? America's favorite, yeah, AFP. I would like for Nicole to win, I guess, or Kimmy. I, I just want Kimmy to win because, and I wasn't a fan of Kimmy in the beginning of the season. I started liking her a little later, but the reason why I want Kimmy to win is because somebody put this on Twitter. They said that Cody won in season 19 just so that everybody can see on the cast, like, yeah, we voted for him when y'all did all this crap to him. So it was like a slap in the face to Paul and everybody else. If Kimmy won, it would be a slap in the face to Jack and everybody else that helped. So, well, to Jack, really. Because I feel like Nick really was friends with Kimmy at one point. Like, Nick is just, like, crazy saying he's going to spit on her and stuff like that. So it would be just like a slap in the face to Jack and Jackson because they talked really, really bad of her. So I wouldn't mind saying Kimmy win. I want Nicole to win, I guess. Because I feel like... Yeah, I guess Nicole. Because I like Nicole, but I just feel like she didn't play the game until two weeks ago. Double eviction. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Nicole. I wouldn't mind seeing Kat win and there, or even David. Shit. He ain't even do shit. But that's it. But, wow, how many times did I just say but? <laughs> that's it for this video, y'all. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video on all forms social media. Let's talk Big Brother inside the comment section down below. I'm sorry for this horrible background. Until next time, catch y'all later.